Uh, welcome to this new segment I like to call Ben's Nostalgia, where I talk about something that I grew up with and how it was much better when I grew up with it and how I would love to re-grow up with it. I'm gonna f Well, you hear me rant about Cartoon Network, so I think it would be a relief that I hear that you hear how me praise Cartoon Network and how I used to love it. Well, I'll start back at my childhood. As far back as I can remember, Cartoon Net I lived in this old house um, with when I was first born. I lived in the, this old suburban house with my mom and dad, and I remember we had this living room with this humongous TV in it, and I all day I just sat, plopped myself in front of that TV and watched Cartoon Network. And all I remember is getting into all the old Hanna-Barbera shows that they used to rerun. And I remember that later on, we get, a TV got, came into my room, and it had Cartoon Network on it as well. So I stayed up, and, well, actually, most of the time, my mom got me Disney movies, so I would watch those at night in my room, since it had a VCR attached to it. So Cartoon Network didn't get much viewing in my... Um, room at that time, but when we moved into an old world house that I, I look, it's the same house as I speak, I'm sitting in, as we moved into that house, my room got moved, my room got moved into a new room, and my room got satellite hooked up to it, so I watched Cartoon Network all before I went to bed. I remember staying up, I remember staying up a little <laughs> longer and staying up and watching Rocky and Bullwinkle and Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Space Ghost Coast to Coast amazed me because uh, at first it, I didn't know it was an adult show, but it was, and I I liked it even though I was too young to get a lot of the jokes and who they were talking about. I still like to stay up and watch it. Rocky and Bullwinkle, on the other hand. Well, I didn't. I wasn't able to laugh at that show either because I didn't know. But something just dr something just attached me to it. And I loved it, and I love it even more to this day. But as the years went by, Cartoon Network. I started to get attached with Cartoon Network's other uh, original shows. I remember when Johnny Bravo first came on. Uh, I I loved it. I just loved how Johnny Bravo acted. And I remember one time when I went to daycare the next day, I can't believe it or not, this is a true story. I was telling a lot of the kids the show I saw the yesterday, and that was Johnny Bravo. And I quoted Johnny when he said to this one Amazon woman, I bet your name's Mickey because you're so fine. You're so fine? And one, and one of the kids ran to the, um, I can't call her teacher. She didn't teach us anything, but you know what I mean, the daycare and he said, Ben's telling people about Johnny Bravo. And I actually got in trouble. <laughs> True story. I got in trouble for watching Johnny Bravo <laughs> and telling kids about it. <laughs> isn't that hilarious or isn't that hilarious? I guess that was one of my earliest exposure to soccer moms. <laughs> so anyway, as you... I kept on getting acquainted to other Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network's original shows. Cow and Chicken. Well, I liked this as a kid, but today I just think it's it's not my thing. I don't know. I I just don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. Dexter's Laboratory. I I used to love this as a kid as well, but it was it's just one of those shows that if you watch too much, it, none of the surprises are there anymore. It uh. Uh, it's not my cup of tea either these days. Then, uh, as soon as I started to get out of daycare, I then went to. Sc I as I started to get out of daycare, it was school for me. Uh, for some reason, Cartoon Network uh, kind of phased out of my childhood for a, a short period of time. I don't know why. But as elementary school progressed, I started to watch it a lot more, and I got into a lot of the classic cartoons that I love today, and a lot of other Cartoon Network's original programming. Like, I remember getting into the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, I think it was every night, I think, they 
had those, <laughs> my memory's pretty vague. I remember watching every single episode of those until I just phased down and didn't like any more girls show. So, uh, yeah, that's why. I was actually kind of, I, actually, when I was growing up, I was kind of afraid to admit I liked the Powerpuff Girls. But, <laughs> well, you know me. You know, during that day and age, a kid liking it, a boy liking a girl show is not a very good thing. Oh, I remember one, another original show I liked, Kurt's the Cowardly Dog, that I grew, uh, that show scared me as a kid, but I was, but I was hooked on it, since I liked monster movies, since I liked monster movies so much, I liked that show, because it was basically a tribute to monster movies, so that's why I liked, then there was Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, I really, I loved this show as a kid, I think, at, at the time, it was my favorite Cartoon Network show. I tried to tape every episode, but with to no avail. But as I grown up, it's I don't know. This is another one of those shows that when you grow up, uh, it's just not my cup of tea either. I I don't know why I don't like this show as much as I used to. It's I don't know why. I just can't explain it to you. So, moving on. Uh, since, well, as I started to grow up more, Cartoon Network kind of phased out since I felt it was a kid thing. I don't think it was good for a kid my age to watch cartoon shows. But, on the dawn of Cartoon Network's new, on the dawn of Cartoon Network's new redefined look, um, they started to change everything, and they started to get a lot of new shows. One of those shows were Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I didn't like the idea at first, so I skipped it. And then, Hi Hi Puffy Amiyumi came on, and I absolutely hated it. But as I, but as I, they kept on going, I started to like these shows a little more. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as they, I fully liked them, as soon as Hi Hi Puffy Amiyumi became my favorite show, it got canceled. And as soon as I started to like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends a lot, that got canceled too. <laughs> I'm not very lucky with these kinds of things, are I? Anyway, I think, yeah, er ever since Foster's got canceled, Cartoon Network, I have stayed far away from it. And you can check my rants on why, but yeah, you'll know soon enough. One of my favorite things about Cartoon Network was that they had programming for kids and adults. And, well... A lot of their kid shows had stuff that adults could, that had jokes that only adults could get that kids would not know at all. That's why Cartoon Network State survived as long as it did because it benefited both demographics. And I think the best shows that I think the best shows benefit towards both kids and adults because shows that benefit towards both, it's just not good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway. I remember when in middle. I remember when I was in elementary school at the dawn of the 21st century. Uh, Adult Swim debuted at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, believe it or not. And like a lot of other kids at that time, I was still awake, and so I stayed up and watched those. I was up and watching those kind of shows. And uh, <laughs> I remember the first show I saw was the Brack Show, and seeing a lot of Space Ghost's enemies cuss a lot. <laughs> was kind of humorous for me. Anyway, Adult Swim has gone kind of downhill, too. Well, before I run out of time, I remember one of my favorite things about Cartoon Network was the promos. I mean, the promos were just as fun as the products they were advertising, and I recommend people look up old Cartoon Network commercials and promos because they really are quite entertaining. One of my favorites is one where the Powerpuff Girls' as enemies are, uh, in a group therapy session. <laughs> and another one is when uh, they're this cafeteria one. So anyway, that's Cartoon Network in a nutshell and how it affected my childhood. It really is what got me into cartoons a lot. And I have really a lot to thank it for. This was back when cartoon was the best place for cartoons. Now, it's the worst place for anything. This has been, this has been Ben's Nostalgia. Good night.